So, we're here, as you can see. Crane in the background, someone's calling me, who's calling me? Ah, uh, no one important. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We are in the yard. It is 3.50 in the morning today. And uh, hello over there as well, how you doing? We uh, we got a bit of a special run again today. Something different. Uh, there's the truck, as you can see. We got a run, go grab a trailer first, obviously. Go get a trailer, flatbed. We then got to go to Southern Don Sea and uh, you ever heard of a company called King's Heavy Haulage? They've got like red and white trucks. Uh, we got to go and do some work for them today. They're going to put something on the on the back of a flatbed trailer. I believe, from what I heard, it's a piece of a crane. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, don't actually know exactly what it is I'm picking up. And uh, I don't exactly know where I'm driving it to and delivering it to either. I, I know it's Avonmouth, but we don't know where in Avonmouth yet. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Also, we're going down in a little bit of convoy. Um, we've got a guy working for us called Jay. He drives the Tiger truck. That truck is also going. Um, I'm actually going to go see if he's awake in a minute because we were told to leave the yard by four o'clock. And he ain't here yet, so... We're going to go see if he's all right. It's quite cold out, look. Yeah, it's cold out. Anyway, let's jump in the truck. We've done all the checks. Uh, destination is put into the sat nav. We are actually good to go. It's just uh, got to wait on this J guy now. So I'm going to go and make sure he's up. If he's not up, I'm going to wake him up and I'm now going to crack on. So I'll see you guys on the road. Right, so we are on the road now, as you can see. We're just coming off the A419 and we're literally two minutes around the corner from getting our trailer. Jay is behind us, uh, and he's not in his Tiger truck. He's in the boss's polar bear truck with the uh, twin stack exhaust system. So that's nice. That's good for him. Very lucky boy. He's. Uh, I'm not. I don't think he actually knows where he's going. So he's. He, I think he's following me the whole way. So uh, it's, all, it's all on me if we get lost. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, we just need to pick up the trailer. We've got two flatbeds to pick up. Apparently the grey one's mine, although I can't really see why it makes much difference, but never mind. Uh, and also, we've got to hope for a fold. Uh... Sorry, he came up to me quite fast, so I was wondering what he was doing. So yeah, uh, anyway, let's go and hitch up the trailer. Hopefully, the trailers are not blocked in because that would not be good if they were. I did, I did say to my boss, are they, are, are they going to be blocked in? He said, no, no, it should be fine. But I can see only one of us being able to hitch up first and then the other one having to get in afterwards. I can see that happening. Let's have a look, just around the corner. Grey one there. Red one's around the corner. Is it? Yeah. Try in here. What? Is it in there? Company, isn't it? No, same company. It? If it's anywhere, it should be in there, the red one. I'll spin around, I'll hitch up to that. I wasn't expecting them to come down my left side then. There's our trailer. Our trailer's 
check around here anyway, just in case is what is around here. No, it's not around here, and if it was, the gate's locked anyway, so. Trailer. I think he's found his, isn't he? Not sure. We found ours anyway. That's all that matters. Certainly in there, in the bushes. Right, we are hooked up. Right, so we are 17 miles away, we're nearly there but we've come across an accident <laughs> on the M25. I know, right? Very rare, very rare that is. Uh, yeah, we're in a bit of a traffic jam. We've already been in this traffic jam now for about, getting on 10 minutes now, 10, 15 minutes. And according to sat now, there's another 12 left. Uh, just now we were stationary for a few seconds. We are starting to roll again. So, um, I want to say hopefully we can get out of this, but I've got a funny feeling we're going to stop in a second. Now Jay is not behind me anymore, he's in front of me. Uh, for some reason he's overtaken me. Um, he hasn't got the paperwork, so he doesn't actually know where we need to go in the docks. But yeah, he's, he's in th lane three down there. So, um, each to their own, innit? I've got the paperwork, so he's going to have to wait for me anyway. Lanes three and four are closed. Well, they're not closed yet. He's telling people to get over into lane one and two. Um, but as you can see, no one's listening. So it's causing a bit of a commotion further on down, by the looks of it. But yeah, no, I was just uh, just giving you an update, really. We're stuck in traffic. Daylight is coming. It looks like it could be a nice day today, looking at the sky. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be. I don't know if I've told you what we're picking up. I've looked at the paperwork. And uh, according, to, according to the paperwork, we're picking up counterweights for the crane. Uh, I, think I'll keep, I think I'm picking up three, three counterweights on the, uh, on the flatbed trailer, so that's quite nice. Quite a nice low load, because they're not massive, are they, counterweights? No way are they going to be bigger than the headboard I've got that's on the uh, flatbed, so it should be a relatively nice low load. This lorry's decided to indicate all the way back there, but it's overtaking everybody. What a map it. So he's going to barge himself in in a sec. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's try and get to our destination, shall we? Right, so we're now here. Jay is still in front of me. He's not letting me overtake, which means I don't know what's going to happen in a sec. Because I've got the paperwork. Park only, port only. So I take it we need to go to the port only lane. I don't know. Jay says he's been here before. So if he's happy to lead the way, I'll let him lead the way. speak to someone about where we're going.
There's a sign there that says number one London Gateway and that's what it says on the paperwork. Let's go to the docks. It must be in the docks, surely. It's got to be. De definitely down there, it's too tight. LC L2 area. LC L2 area. ID cards this late only. No idea what we're doing. Let's go and have a word with Jay. Yeah, so uh, we're going to walk down and uh, see if anyone knows anything about it. So. We're here, as you can see, crane in the background. Someone's calling me, who's calling me? Uh, no one important. Uh, crane's in the background, there's a lorry there currently getting off, uh, getting loaded at the moment. With something very heavy and it's making making it go a bit tilted. Uh, yeah, it took a while to get here. Uh, for some reason, we're behind a, a distribution center in the docks. So, uh, yeah, it was quite hard to find. The guy said, surely you can see the crane. <laughs> I mean, in hindsight, yeah, you would, but we've come from all the way over there, so no, we couldn't see the crane, but no mind. Um, I believe I'm still taking three, three counterweights, and I believe they're also very small, like that wide. So literally, that high off the deck, that's all it's going to be. But obviously, they're heavy. I've got the uh, GoPro set up there, but I'm uh, on the back of the cab ready. So when they do load it, I'm hoping to get some footage of that. Uh, But yeah, just thinking about it, I'm actually going to swap it over for a GoPro 5 so that it's better quality because that's a GoPro Hero 3. So that's what I'm going to do now. We are going to be loaded next, but it's going to be a good half an hour or so before we're loaded, so I'm going to get a break in. <laughs> right, so we are just we just need to reverse into position now. Not 100% sure I'm going to do it yet. I don't know if we do a 180, reverse in, or drive in for a better angle. drive in and try and get a better angle. Take the yard out of I've been getting it out To be straight, I'm sorry, I have to be straight. Can't handle not being straight. Or at least straighter, anyway.
What's that? You want to do in the gap there, because where you are now, the crane won't be able to reach up to the head. You can what, what, next to that lorry gap, boys? No, the gap that side, between the weights and the vent, and the... Uh, what's that? Ah, right, behind your van. So I am going to be at an angle after all. We got a slight problem. Uh, we need a new tire. So, uh, I don't know if you can quite see that, but the tire has decided it wants us to split. So we've pulled, pulled truck tire out. And uh, yeah, we've been waiting for a new tire before we can go anywhere. Which sucks. <sighs> Such is life, isn't it? On a Friday as well. We're going to try and get to the lorry park around the corner so then um, they don't need to come through any security and then uh, hopefully we'll be good to go but there's a chance the tire might pop on the way there. I'm going to crawl around. Right we're on the move very slowly with my dodgy tire. We're, uh, we're not on a public road so it's okay, plus also tyres can go on public roads, obviously. But we just need to get somewhere safe. Uh, well, I mean, I am somewhere safe. We need to get somewhere where the guys can get to me easier without having to do checks. This could go any minute.
we're so close. Don't burst now, for God's sake. and we're going to try and get into bay 8. Yeah, 33741. Screw in our bottom box, please. Not a problem. There we go. There we go, that's it. You're all good to go. All good to go. Nice Cheers, mate. We are good to go. So, after waiting not so long, we are now on our way. Hopefully we don't have to pay to get out, because we've been only stopping here for an hour, and I'm pretty sure I've not been here an hour. open automatically in a few seconds if it doesn't only then use the buzzer in a few seconds no answer Right, let's try again. So, turns out I've been here for one hour and five minutes, which is five minutes over the one hour allowance for free parking, so I've just had to pay to get out. But it's not the end of the world, two pound. So it should now open, there we go. Let us say thank you. Even though it just cost me money, but never mind saying two pounds, not the end of the world. Um, I can afford two pounds. Right, so, we're now on our way. It's a good three and a half hour drive there. So ETA is not until ten past three. Um, so that's not ideal. Could have been there an hour earlier, never mind. Never mind. At least it's only an hour, eh? Like, it could have been a lot worse. Truck's hire got here so fast. So 
so that was nice of them to get here quickly. Ah, oh, changed. Not fair. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'll leave you with some dash cam footage. Hopefully we'll be there sooner rather than later. the girlfriend of my best mate so I want to say a big thank you to Keely for watching my videos because I know you watch my videos and I know that you watch them in front of Craig and Craig doesn't like it <laughs> Craig's my mate for anyone you don't know Craig is my best mate and he gets enough of me during the day on the phone he gets home and then his girlfriend wants to watch my videos so Keely thank you very much for watching and I, I do appreciate it and also happy birthday for Tuesday um, Tuesday just gone you turn 29 and I will see you tomorrow because we are all going to Disney on Ice yes I'm, me and my girlfriend are taking our kids and uh, Craig and Keely are coming along with us as well so it's like a a day out to Disney on Ice so I will see you tomorrow Keely there's been an accident there though so yeah I needed to say that before I forget because I will forget right we are here we need to try and find a crane and or crane parts. train track. some crane parts to deliver 
Uh, it just says MPS shipping, Hinkley storage area. Yeah, up here. Yeah. Take a left, follow the road all the way to the end, and then take a right. It should be on the right hand side for you. Thank you very much. Right. Cheers. Did you guys get that? Because I didn't. <laughs> no, joking. Take a left at the roundabout, follow the road round on the right hand side. Hopefully we're going to see Jay, and that will then confirm to us that we're at the right place. Take aggregates there, look. Follow it round and it's on the right.
really annoying because if it was any other driver, they would ping me where they are, but Jay doesn't know how to work a mobile phone very well. And he wouldn't have a clue how to do that and share his location. It's very annoying. I'm starting to think I can't come down here. Where are we supposed to be then? Oh, she said left at the roundabout. I'm on the right. A generation of my time. There is nothing we can do. situation. We've been here now for quite a while and um, I'm running out of working time so I just went up to him and said look I need to leave here in the next 40 minutes otherwise I'm dropping the trailer and I'm going. I said I started at half past three this morning I need to leave here so I can get back to the yard at half past six. I, live, I said I've got to go back to Swindon. And they, they said all right so they've stopped, they've stopped unloading guy so they can uh, unload me basically which is what we're doing now so the guy they stopped unloading doesn't look very happy and I can't really explain it the, the reason why they've stopped unloading him is because they got like a he's got a container on which they have a container pickup but they got ropes coming down with chains to lift up stuff um, which is what they need for me so because they don't need it for him, they keep, they're keeping the chains on so they can quickly unload me, so they haven't got to take them off just to put them back on again and then they're going to unload the other guy, if that makes sense. But, to 
to unload me, I need to go backwards. They lift it up, I go forwards. They then they'll drive forwards, drop it. But they then reverse back, I then reverse back and do the same thing three times. I'm just taking one off, so I've got to go back in a second and do the other two. If I leave right now, I will be back in the yard for six o'clock. I need to be back in the yard by uh, 6.34, to be precise. 6.34. If I can't get it back, then I need to pull in Pull in at uh, Lee Delamere Services, we'll come off at Junction 17 and pull in a lay-by uh, on the way to Barnsbury and then someone will come and get me and do the rest. I'm my boss up, I explained to him that I can't do a night out because tomorrow I am busy. I'm going to Birmingham tomorrow. Disney on ice. With the kids, as I've already said. The thing is, if I got here before that other truck, I would have been gone ages ago, man. But because he had such an awkward load, oh, popped it all up, big time. Mate, who can sign the paperwork? Cheers, bud. Yeah, you got me fucking drink on the back, all right? <laughs> Thanks for doing this. No, that's all right, mate. I just done a printout. Three thirty-four. I started exactly. All right, as soon as that's off, mate. Crack on. Off, right? Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too, mate. And good luck getting home. Thank you. <laughs> Not like the old days bit out, is it? Nah. See you later, bud. Right, we're off. All of these guys here, look, apparently cannot unload today. Apparently they've uh, got to drop their trailers or something. Take, take the straps off, drop the trailer and um, go back to their yards. Not something I really wanted to be doing. Right, I can't remember how I come in. I think it was down here. What's the way out, guys? Where's the way out? I forgot. Yeah. Is it, oh yeah, it's next to there. Yeah. Cheers guys, thank you. This is not the way I came in. The sun's in my eyes, so I can't really see around here so well. Uh, yeah. So it's a bit of a maze, this place. No, I definitely didn't come in this way. Is that another saying left? They said go left as well. Right, so we've got 20 minutes in it for working time. So if I get held up in traffic anyway, Fingers crossed I won't get held up in any traffic. I did come under here, didn't I? Yeah. Turn right at the end of the road. Train tracks. The 
the train come now, that would really just make today even worse. <laughs> no, I'll be honest, I've not had a bad day today. Like, again, I'm, I'm doing another 15 hour shift today. Um, when was the last time I vlogged? Was it on Monday? Which, I, which is when I did a 15 hour shift, yeah. So I've done another 15 hour shift today. But it doesn't feel like it because I enjoy my job. I mean, and I've said this before, that it doesn't feel like it. There's, no, that's not the way out. Sat never seeing go down there. That's not the way out, is it? Sat never saying go left. Yeah, this is the right way. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it because I've actually enjoyed today. It's been a, it's been a good shift, and I've enjoyed the load as well that I've delivered. So when you when you enjoy your job, it doesn't feel like a long shift. Aha! The exit is in sight. We are leaving dead on five o'clock. Make sure that those barriers don't go down. We are clear of the train tracks. I always look, always. Can't help but not look. Yeah, you go right, I'm going straight on. Can't the lights turn green? <laughs> Please turn green for me. Anyway, I am 90. 8% sure I will make it in time if you just cut a red light. Um, unless there's a massive accident on the M5 or M4, then uh, yeah, I will be home in time, or back in the yard in time anyway. So I shouldn't have too much to worry about. Would it be dark then? I suppose it could be dark by the time I get back. No idea. Anyway, um, let's see. I'll let you guys uh, know when I get there because I will vlog. See you in a bit. Okay, we're here. We are literally two minutes away from the yard, if that. And it is five to six. So we've made up a little bit of time on the M4. Uh, primarily because the sat nav was saying come off at junction 16 and come back via Wilton Bassett. Um, because for some reason, it says avoid Malmesbury because there's a low bridge, but I can actually get under the bridge um, with, with my cab as it is with a flatbed trailer on. So, gained a little bit of time there, which is good because it means now we're going to be back in the yard before six o'clock and we needed to be in the yard before half past six. So, we're half an hour um, ahead of our limit, basically, which is good. It's sunny most of the way here, so I've just, just seen my sunglasses for the first time for pretty much the day. It is definitely getting dark out now. I did say I wondered if it would be dark or not by the time I got back, but it won't be long until it is dark. That's where Craig works in there, for me. So yeah, been a long day, 14 and a half hour shift that's going to be. Um, but even though it has technically been a long day, it doesn't really feel like it's a long day. Is that, it's, it's really weird to explain. This morning when I woke up, I've, I mean, I've, I've started early every day this week. Four o'clock in the morning is the latest I've started this week. And the earliest is like half one or something. Like I'll go through it in a sec. Do, do, do. Monday, half three. Tuesday, four o'clock. Wednesday, quarter past three. Tuesday, uh, Thursday, half past two. And then today, half past three. So yeah, the latest is four o'clock. I started the early, just half past two. And uh, I'm pretty much finishing most days quite late as well. 
but uh, I've been doing some long shifts. Thank God it's Friday, that's all I can say. <coughs> I hope the gate's open. Yeah, the gate's open. So, I'm not going to wash the truck because it's too late to wash the truck now, so I'm just going to park up around the back because there won't be any room at the front. In fact, I doubt there's any room at the back either. Certainly no room at the front. Du, 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 du. I certainly hope so. Oh man, I'm not going to get around this corner yet. Right, I can park there. I'm probably just going to reverse in from over here. I can't see why I won't be able to do that. Nice and easy. Just got to try and get over to the left a bit now so we can get past on the right. There we go. There we go. Done. Right, let's see what we've got to do now. Doncaster, wasn't it? Yeah, BWT Doncaster, and then today we did Essex to Avonmouth. Put down the mileage three three seven seven eight nine. Right, Jane. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, not bad. Um, I don't want to park over there, man. Yeah, I'll be there now. Time is 1800. I'm thinking here, cameras are galore. Yeah, it's recording now as well. Hi. Say hello. <laughs> Just tidy up when we do it. I'll give you, I'll give you a bottle, mate. <clears throat> right, he's gone now, so I can say bye. <laughs> So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching my video. I honestly really do appreciate it. Um, the support I've been getting recently has been amazing. So uh, thank you to each and every single one of you. Where did I put my shoulder? Oh, there it is. Right in front of me. Idiot. So yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for your support. Uh, we're now on 22,500 subscribers, and we've got nearly 6 million total video views. So pretty impressive if I do say so myself 
So, uh, and that's all down to you guys. That's not down to me, that's down to you watching it. If, if you didn't watch it, I wouldn't have those stats. So, so thank you. Uh, one last thing for me before I go. Um, don't forget to go check out the Road Legends Facebook page. Link is in the description down below. It consists of myself, Kev T, Trucker in the UK, Scott Andrews, all four of us have combined to make a super group. <laughs> and, um, yeah, if you go like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the Road Legends, we post links to our videos up to 24 hours before anywhere else. So if you go like that page, you can watch this video earlier than, than it goes live because it, it doesn't go public. It goes up uh, as, an unlist, as an unlisted video and you can only watch it with a link and that link is on our Facebook page. So go check it out. That's it for me. We need to go because it's getting on to half past six now. 20, 20 past 6 8, about 18, 18 so we've got to be out of here in 10 minutes otherwise technically our shift has gone over 15 hours so I need to go thank you very much until next time drive safe see you soon bye bye